morning. It is 4.30 a.m. and I find myself on the way to Stansted Airport once again. We got back from Bucharest and we had the serious holiday blues. Benita's with us Hi. today. Just appearance. She got back from Paris on Monday last week as well, the same day we got back from Bucharest. Oh, my and problems are by Tuesday lunchtime, we had booked cheap flights yet again from Stansted Airport, which is a nightmare. We're off, um, although it wasn't this morning. No, this morning it was fine because we stayed at yours and she's a lot closer to Stansted than we are. But um, we're off to Billund in Denmark for the day. Just for the day. Very short and sweet trip. <laughs> but first of all, it's freezing and we need to walk to the airport. Thank you so much. We have an airport breakfast at Comptoir. I've got a veggie breakfast with hummus and a slice of toast because when in Rome you have to have toast. Vegan breakfast for Benita. And what did you get? A full English. Signature. Signature breakfast for Jess. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes, it's so beautiful in here. So we're on a Ryanair flight that is like 90% empty. We actually got really good seats, um, front but not extra leg. I could just hear her. And like everyone on this flight is like really silent. Like she's just very bad. And I feel like everyone else thinks that we're those people that you hate on a flight to like Costa del Sol or somewhere quite jammy. It's just quite loud. But anyway. I have because I've got ear problems. So I'm sweet. Sweet. We just landed in Billund and it was the nicest Ryanair flight. First of all, there was I don't know, the plane was probably about 10 or 20% full. We had a whole row to ourselves. And I was expecting it to be an hour and a half long. It was actually an hour and five minutes. 10. An hour and 10 minutes. And, 10. and we got and space that we needed. Yeah, <laughs> we did. This vlog might be a bit weird because I am a little bit deaf. Well, quite deaf, actually. I can't actually hear anyone unless they're facing me and I can lip read them. Guys, can we walk this way? It's just people watching me. Um, and... Yeah, I because I was flying like six days ago, I've had like potential sinusitis or inflammation in my ears. I've been trying to fix it. Probably shouldn't have flown today. I hope I haven't made it worse, but I've got a bit of pain in my ear and I've got a very muffled sound. So we're now gonna find our way. So Billund is a very small, I think, town. Very small, it's very quite an airport I've seen. Yeah, very smallest, quiet. quietest airport I've ever seen. Um, it's a very small like city or town, I don't know, in Denmark, and it's literally just known for Legoland. I don't know if it originates here, but I read somewhere that like 80% of the people that live here work for Legoland, and it's a five minute drive from the airport. So we're literally spending the day at a theme park. There's two things to do in Billund, and that is Legoland, and a place called Lelandia, which is a water park, but we figured it might be too cold for that. It's a little bit chillier here than it was in London. It's between like 11 and 16 degrees. Um, but we're actually really early. Like yeah, we've got about early. half an hour. We through, through, didn't we? The open. whole thing was a uh, good experience. Oh, okay. It's 9.49. Oh, okay, so it's got 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes, yeah. okay. Great. Okay, fine, <laughs> perfect timing. Yeah, we'll be like the first ones in. So there's a bus Let's talk about what we're doing. Oh, sorry, buses. Instead of an Uber, we're getting a bus to Legoland. And apparently it's this one. I've done no research into this, but Benita has. So, I'm, I'm on it. I trust you, don't worry. This is not like sarcasm either. This is take two. Am I, is that better? That's much better. Okay, I have been talking really quietly, I think because I can't hear. So I didn't realise that you probably couldn't hear the last take. Anyway, we're now on the bus to Legoland. We got on the bus and we were like, oh, do you take card payment? And the guy was like, no. He was like, just get on anyway. So I don't know if the bus is full or he just sorted us out. But like, it's a five minute drive. It's cool. That's amazing. Love this place. I love Denmark. I'm really sorry, I don't know if I'm shouting because I can't hear, but we have just arrived at Legoland. It was less than a five minute drive. I was not expecting all these crowds of people. Um, it's so busy. Here's me thinking, oh, we get here for bang on 10 a.m. It's 9.57 and we'll be the first ones here, but clearly not. And I think that's just purely because there's literally nothing else to do here. And it's a nice day. Apparently it was raining yesterday and it's raining tomorrow, so there we go. 
guys excited? Very excited. So I'm still excited. dead, but we are very. Well, actually, the queue is not moving that slowly, but it is so busy. I guess everyone has literally just timed it to be here for the moment it opens, which is approximately 10 minutes ago. Thank you. The first place we're looking for is the lockers. So they have um, small and large lockers here where you can just store your stuff for the day. A large one is actually the smallest one. It's called Large and Jumbo, sorry. Large is 60 Danish kroner, which is about just under seven pounds we've established, but you have to pay there with a credit card and then unlock the locker, put your stuff in, and you can go and come back to it as many times as you want and apparently any charges you want. So that's quite handy to know. It's literally just on the right-hand side as you come in because it took us quite a while to find it and the queues at the information desk were really long. So yeah, if you do visit and you have stuff you don't want to carry around with you, here's a good place to store it. So this is the machine, it's quite slow, but we've rented a large locker for 60 DKK, Danish Krona. It is very painfully so. Um, Seven quid. Seven pounds? Yeah, it's taken out. Okay, not bad. That's really good. Woohoo! Oh, right. yeah. There we go. Just like that. Oh, wait. Is this locked? Yes. It's so nice to be able to get rid of your bags um, and put them in a locker. And now we're off to go and explore. But I think we made a really good call um, buying lunch at Stansted Airport before we came. We all picked up a sandwich from Pret and we bought some crisps from home because, first of all, Denmark is very expensive, but it doesn't say like what food options are available for vegans and vegetarians here on their website, apart from like just a burger. As so we thought, we're gonna have two meals here anyway, so a cheap and cheerful airport sandwich is probably the right way to go, right? Yep. Here we are, look, yeah. I don't know where we are from this thing, we're but here. quite a few things to do here, look. We're here, yeah. so should we do numerical? Yep. So we yeah. don't miss anything What's else? What's oh, yellow? Mini, is that for little kids? Well, let's go check it. No, I think Mini let's Land is a mini of everything. Okay, let's do it. Let's check it. Oh my God, this is epic. This is like a little miniature Billund Airport and the um, planes actually move as well. The sun's currently blinding me, so I can't actually see what you can see, but... Is that? Oh my god, I think this is actually excellent. It's so cool, isn't it? And look at the little miniature trees over there. Okay, someone's gonna tell us we've got a similar thing in the UK. <laughs> it doesn't talk about Billin, does it? Yeah, well, it's uh, Windsor. <laughs> These little people moving. Wow. I personally think this is way cooler. This is Copenhagen, and this is exactly what it looks like. I think it's called Nihaven, um, the area that we went to with all the colourful buildings. We actually went on that exact boat in the real life Nihaven, that's amazing. Okay, so I know this isn't actually the point of Lego, right? And yes, the Lego is incredibly impressive. But how on earth do they get those trees to look like that? They are actual real little baby trees. I just don't understand. I was so amazed by them. I can't even imagine what 900,000 Lego bricks looks like. I mean, it's this, look at it, but like, what on earth? There's Jas <laughs> sticking his GoPro through the little archway. Oh, I can't wait to see that footage. If it's good, it's going in this vlog. I don't even know if you'll be able to see these little pumpkins on this tree and out in front of that house. They are tiny. This might sound really stupid considering I'm obviously at Legoland and have flown to a different country to be here, but I honestly don't think I've ever appreciated Lego in the way that I do now. What about you? What's that? I agree. Do you have like, I've just always thought Lego was just like for kids and I didn't understand like adults that build it for fun, but oh my God, I think this is like, really cool i mean i'm, I'm not gonna so go build stuff but no, i'm never gonna do that either but i just didn't really understand people that did but now i've got this whole like newfound appreciation for it so weird but like, it's it's incredible i think this is so cool the way they've captured the elderly people it's <laughs> just amazing oh my god i'm so impressed some more little people here oh the little granny with the rollers in her hair Incredible. 
thank you. <laughs> we are on a Lego safari. <laughs> this is epic. Oh, there's little monkeys. <laughs> I am the driver, but obviously I'm doing so much driving. Oh, look at these flamingos. They're so good. There's giraffes coming up, my fave. Look at the giraffes, Jeff. So cool. <laughs> Driverless cars, doesn't it? There's only two adults allowed in each car. So, there is Benita! Hi! Is this car cackling? Yeah. That's so funny. This is actually really cool. Are you filming me, filming you? driving your car <laughs> oh my god this is actually hilarious i think you're gonna take a photo of you and there's me shaking myself i think we're gonna queue up to go on this ride next um which just goes up and down i don't normally do heights definitely don't do roller coasters but i think i can handle this right guys yep. yeah <laughs> right we're about to go on this hi hi yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 We're about to go on this little train. How does three people sit on this? Let's we'll get one each. Guys, stick your head out on the left. I want to go to this little shell petrol station. That is epic. This is so cool. Oh my god, I actually love this. So we're going to walk into the family buffet just to see what they have for lunch. Um, it is 245 Danish kroner per person. So I think, what did we say that was? 38 or 28 pounds? I can't remember. But they don't tell you what's on the menu. So you want to see what their veggie options are like? Should we just go and ask? Yes, yeah, go. To understand Danish, this is what they have at the buffet. We do not, apart from hummus and Caesar salad. That's the only thing I understand. So they have like salads. They do like baked potatoes, cream potatoes. Pasta salads from what I can see. Green pasta they've got. So for Halloween, green pasta. We have the usual pizza, pasta. Lego potatoes, that's so good. We're not going to go to the buffet because it is £28 per person and there's really not that much choice for veggies. It's quite expensive, but we thought it would be. And it'd be fine if there was more choice, but it doesn't look like very exciting. It's a good job we brought our prep to have lunch. There are actually loads more restaurants here that we've seen when we've been on the ride. Um, we didn't know about, so we're just going to have a little wonder and just see what, we, what our lunch options are. And we've just been to explore. No, no, I'm not like starving, it's fine. Uh, we're in the Great Lego Reef, is that what it's called? Oh. Um, we're just exploring. This place isn't actually as big as we thought it was, right? Unless we've just missed out a whole section. There we go. We'll check it there. Is that an octopus? Oh, mermaid. Mermaid. Mermaid's face is a bit manly. <laughs> it's got a bit of a monobrow going on. <laughs> 
She's not the prettiest Lego woman I've ever seen. <laughs> they are in Scandinavia because I keep seeing prams with babies in left outside every building. And it's so scary to me, but people literally just didn't leave their babies sleeping in prams outside coffee shops and restaurants here. It's just really weird to see. Oh, look at this guy. We're at Star's Burger Kitchen just looking at the veggie options and they've got quite a few actually. They've got a tasty veggie, a falafel burger, a spinach cheese and they're about 11 or 12 pounds each. These Lego fries look really cool. Chili cheese pops sound good. I don't think we're going to have this right now but it's good to know that you've got options. Okay, this to me is terrifying. I haven't been on one of these since oh, I was a child. Oh, I just don't know how I feel about this. It's literally so short, it's a two pound thing. True. Okay, but that one, I'm never ever going That's on that. That's like such a system. small roller coaster. That's terrifying to me. You said you feel sick at the thought of it. Yeah, but I'm still going to go on it. Oh, right, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get home, Thank you. Oh my god guys, this is about to happen. I'm about to go on a ride and I'm terrified. Three, three, yeah. And it's not allowed to film the GoPro. Oh, not allowed to film? It's not allowed. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my god, we've just done this. This was the scariest thing I've ever done. Terrified. Just got some Cafe Chocos, which I thought was like a mocha, but it's actually a watery hot chocolate so it doesn't contain milk with a shot of espresso so hopefully it's nice this coffee shop's really quite cute actually this is definitely a first for all of us bringing our own lunch with us from the airport but it was so good because now it is actually lunchtime here we've realized that we only have a couple no two and a half hours left here yeah. and the queues for the only place that had a vegan burger it was really busy and i'm not i don't care about a burger so how much time it is <laughs> We're now in the Atlantis Sea Life Centre. Does it do anything? Press the button. <laughs> That's so funny, you literally just push a button and it blows bubbles. <laughs> He's drowning. Now we're about to go to Ninjango. What's this? Laser Quest? Did you say Laser Quest? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're walking with that lady. Okay, I thought this was like shooting each other with laser guns, but it's actually a maze. You know those things you see on TV and you have like a minute and 20 seconds to go 10 meters without buzzing? That's so cool. Oh my god, so you come into the building and you're literally launched straight into it. Go on. Ah, oh, did you hit one? <laughs> Gone. Oh. That was so fun, but like no one was actually telling us what to do. Also, what is this? They look like they've got eyes on them. They don't. Onions. Are they radishes? Radishes. Or are they berries? They're like little dragon fruit. These little um <laughs> Anyway, so no one tells you what to do at the laser maze. So just just press the first button, which was hard. And then Benita went next and she pressed medium, so I was like, I'll press easy. And I look, I don't think I actually hit a beam. I just didn't do it fast enough. Oh the last one. Yeah, no, you hit three because it hit it, Oh I hit three. It, it, okay, it, it, I, I hit three. Well, like, we like, weren't very good at that. Given these sexy glasses. We're about we're at the Ninjango ride. We have absolutely no idea what to expect. It's basically like a little train. Not a roller coaster, Nisha does not do roller coasters. Um but like a haunted house thing, but we hope. Yeah, we hope. I mean I'll do anything but heights and but roller coasters. I don't care. But um yeah. 
just interactive. Huh? Who's going first? What do you mean first? Oh, I'm going to put it on the left. I don't care. Okay, you're not going to be able to see how we see because we've got 3D glasses on. But we're supposed to like, like flap our arms around. It's interactive. So this is the ride we just went on. Why am I always vlogging or taking a selfie in every single picture? That's so funny. Now we're in a haunted house. What's a mirror and what's real? Okay, stick my hand out. That's a mirror. Oh, sorry. Where are you? Is that you? Wait, is this glass? Can I go all the way through? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Look, I can see you over there. <laughs> Where is she? Is that you? <laughs> is that you or is that actually a thing? Oh, is this the exit? Hello, let me out! <laughs> so I don't actually know what I filmed and what I haven't because I've just done hundreds of clips of this entire day out and it's been so much fun. We haven't spent longer than like half an hour sitting down ever since we landed. It's been a very long day and we've only got about 45 minutes left before we need to leave for the airport. But Jas is going to go on this rubber, it's not a rubber dinghy, it's just called a dinghy ride. Benita and I are terrified of heights and I'm not a thrill seeker. He's gonna go on it, so I'm gonna film him. I've got a really good like viewpoint, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you, but the queue's a little bit long. So that's where you queue up on the right hand side. And this is the rubber dinghy. And look at that drop, that's what I mean, it's so scary. Fun. I think Benita won that one, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> you guys had a good day. Yeah, it's wicked, yeah. We've still got a bit more time to do Half an hour left. Yeah. Let's choose wisely. We're going to go on this fire brigade one next, and you have to like jump in this little thing, like fire engine, and push it to move faster. You have to get out, put the fire out, and come back. I'm not going to be able to film this one, but this one looks so fun, right? <laughs> Oh, that's so funny because that lady just like pumping all the water out. Yeah, you've got to basically get, oh, that to get it in the hole. Yeah, yeah, but that shackle when it finishes to the thing. Oh, you've yeah, got to pump yeah. as hard as you can to get there. Oh, wow. And just like that, our day at Legoland Billund is over. Oh, sad times. We're going to try and find a bus now to go back to the airport. We have had such a good day at Legoland. It has been epic. Like, I. I've never been to Legoland actually in Windsor and I haven't been to a theme park as an adult so I really didn't know what to expect so I don't really do rides but this was such a fun day like I know like almost everyone else there was accompanied with a child but it was a really good like day out for adults as well I, I've just been working it out I'm just at the airport now I've just been working it out and including our flights airport parking tickets to Legoland, drinks and stuff that we consumed while we were in Denmark. I have spent about the same as I spent a few weeks ago on a two, three hour night out in London and not even in the city because drinks are expensive. And I know what I'd much rather spend my money on. I would definitely come back. Like, I love Denmark so much. Um, we were just talking about, Benita, Jas and I, we were just talking about the difference, like, the, like why this was so good. And I think there is an option to buy, like, fast track tickets to, like, the rides and things like that. But 
nobody really bought one. The entrance to the fast track ticket is a bit, was actually closed, so nobody would obviously purchased them. But the lines weren't very long for the ride, and they were moving really quickly. The other thing is, I feel like Legoland in Windsor would be carnage because of screaming kids and all the rest of it. Like, probably my worst nightmare. This wasn't like that at all, and I think it's because Danish kids are like really calm. There were no parents like screaming at their kids, no one raising their voices, everyone was like so well mannered, well behaved, like I don't know, it was just like not what I would have expected from a day out at Legoland. Um, and yeah, it was busy, but it wasn't like completely round. Oh wow. We Benita had researched like a Buddha bowl place, hi. <laughs> the airport and we were looking forward to this dinner our only meal that we've consumed here and I got the veggie deluxe or was it vegan deluxe it's got beyond meat patty or beyond meat steak and it just looks insane um, Whoa, that does look insane you got a chicken chipotle bowl yeah. what did you get uh, the veggie the top you got a lid one oh the Oh, right. okay. This is your fork. Oh, that looks good. Okay. I didn't get to end my vlog earlier at the airport because our food arrived and I can't really remember what I was saying now. Um, the flight from Denmark and back is just so pleasant, isn't it? Like, it's literally an hour and 10 minutes on the way there and an hour and 20 or 25 minutes on the way back. That's about the right amount of time that I like to spend on Ryanair. Any more than that, and it gets a bit much. But um, we had such a great day, didn't we, guys? Yeah. yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's really good. Did you have a nice day, Jess? Yep. Lovely. Um, I think Legoland is great, and obviously I think I said earlier I have nothing to compare it to. I haven't been to the Windsor one. You have as a child, right? Yes. Um, but I just feel like being in Denmark is such a pleasant experience like everything is so clean um and we relaxed. landed at Stansted I went to the loo and I was just like oh like I miss Denmark like it was just filthy do you know what I mean like it's just not the same um people are so nice the vibe is so chilled like honestly like I didn't hear any parents screaming at their kids to like hurry up or to eat or just the usual stuff you hear like kids weren't crying or screaming like it was quite pleasant mm. right yeah. yeah and the only exception was a kid getting pushed out the pushed oh, out yeah. the push chair but any kid would for that one yeah there was like a really yeah. young child in like a pram or push chair noticed. and his brother little brother like pushed him out and he's like crying because the whole pram toppled over but of course like yeah. I really didn't know what to expect having like I'm not a theme park fan I've never been to Legoland and I I think we landed and I was like oh my god are we spending like a whole day surrounded by like loads of little brats and it wasn't like that at all was it like there's lots to explore we didn't even explore the whole thing did we yeah no so we must have gone to like two thirds no two thirds maybe two thirds of it yeah we missed out about a quarter. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, maybe, maybe a place. bit more than a quarter. I think two thirds is about, about right. two thirds. Yeah. So there is a lot to see. I think you can get like a two day pass or whatever. But I'm very satisfied with the rides that we did, the stuff that we did, and things that we saw. It's fun. Yeah, yeah it was really, really fun. Can I even see you, Jess? No, uh, not really. No, they probably can't. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I look so tired. I forgot to mm. my contacts out on the flight. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. And Bye. I'll see you in her next one too, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> if we find more cheap flights. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.